Now, does head position actually matter in running? Hey guys, it's JP, and today I'm going to go over the impact of head position during running and what may really matter when we cue for this. I'll also be going over some great variations that you can easily incorporate into some popular exercises in many training programs. Now let's get into the video. Many elite distance runners maintain a relatively neutral head position, which is with the head looking straight ahead. However, does the way we hold our heads impact physiological factors like heart rate and oxygen consumption? There was actually some research done on this. Based on the results of this study by Moore and colleagues, head position may have no significant impact on heart rate and oxygen consumption. There are a few caveats to mention though. While this had things like a small sample size and subjects running for only 7 minutes, this still shows that head position may not impact physiological measures as much as we think. However, it is important to note that maintaining the neck in extreme positions of bending up or down had a negative psychological effect and made the athletes feel like they were working harder. Now, after briefly going over that, why do I still cue to keep the head level? The first reason is simple, to see where you are going and to adapt based on the environment. Another is that how we perceive how hard we are running is important as there are both physical and mental components involved as you run. Being able to optimize both is essential across all distances. Based on a biomechanical standpoint, it puts the neck in a position where the muscles stabilizing the head work less. However, as seen, this may not matter as much as we originally thought, as the energy required to do this may be minimal. It is important to note that this may differ though based on the demands of the body, such as increased output from sprinting, as well as looking at the opposite side of the spectrum, where the impact of head position may increase during longer runs like the marathon. As I mentioned before, the subjects in the study only ran for 7 minutes, so we really can't assume that this applies to those extremes. And finally, that exact cue can also be interpreted as a way to stay calm and composed through the race. Now, after going over that, here are just some variations of some effective and popular exercises that target the muscles around the neck more and bring awareness to head position. The first exercise is known as the prisoner's march. This is a simple variation of the farmer's walk that increases balance demands, but also awareness of head position Go into a standing position and wrap your hands around the back of your head. Where the hands interlock should be around the suboccipital area, which is typically in alignment with the upper part of the ears. Then, gently tuck the chin in. This helps engage the neck muscles. Then, as you march forward, make sure to maintain a tall posture. Some people tend to bend at the knee or trunk, so watch out for that. Then, as you land, try to keep it gentle and quiet. This will help work on hip control and strength. The second exercise we will go over is the banded prisoner's march. This is a slight progression that incorporates resistance to challenge neck stability. If you don't have a band, you can substitute with a small towel. By incorporating the band, this challenges the neck muscles more, but also brings more awareness to the area. The cues are pretty much the same as the prisoner's march, however, the difference is obviously the band. Try to position the band like so and continue with the march. The third exercise is the banded step up. This is another variation of the step up that is fun to implement. Compared to the previous exercises, this increases coordination demands to maintain head position. Also, I love involving the step up as this incorporates similar movement patterns to how the quads are used as you run. To do this one, position the band as shown here and try to maintain it in a neutral head position. Once set up, drive the foot into the ground and go into a tall posture. Then, gently place the foot down. As I always say, just because it's called the step up, don't neglect the lowering portion of the activity. I use this cue to emphasize this portion. Maintain a slow and controlled descent. This challenges the quads eccentrically, which is how the quads are usually used specifically during running. The last example I'll go over to improve neck position and awareness is the banded step up lunge. This is a fun variation that involves coordination and head control during increased dynamic activity. I use this primarily on people working on explosive movements like sprinting. Now to do this one, you can position the band like so. 
Even though it's pulling on the head to bring it forward, try to keep the head in a neutral position. Then, when you are ready, drive down through the front foot and explode up, and get into this tall position. Then, return into the lunge position and you can repeat. And those are a few variations of popular exercises to help improve awareness of the head and work on those neck muscles in a coordinated fashion. Give these a try and let me know what you think. Anyway, I really hope you found this useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And as always, thank you for watching.